All right, we're getting ready to uh, put everything back together. Uh, but before we do, I want to go ahead and clean all this stuff up. So uh, there's quite a few of these. I didn't count them. And there's one special one that goes up under the bumper uh, over there on the top. So uh, to uh, clean it up, I just used some paper towels. And I used uh, a little bit of warm water and uh, just a little bit of dish soap. I didn't want to use anything with uh, ammonia or chemicals in it because I was kind of concerned about the paint and the uh, the items on here. So, so anyways, uh, let me get these cleaned up and uh, I'll show you what I'm doing. Just you know, just use a toothbrush and this right here. And the uh, the paper towel over here is for to put them up there until you can dry them with some more paper towels here. All right, guys, I got these all cleaned up and everything. They're looking pretty good. Um, all I have left to clean up is these, and they're actually pretty good, too. Uh, I'm just going to use a little wire brush to uh, take off any, any corrosion or, or anything up around the head that might be kind of nasty and dirty. Don't scrub it too hard because it is chrome, and, and you don't want to damage it. So, anyways... Uh, let's get to it Well, I'm almost done here guys. I uh, just wanted to show you how to clean the haze off of these easier. Just uh, stick it on uh, the end of one of the screws and then use your wire brush here uh, To go ahead and scrub it up real good and Then they'll look like these no haze on them or anything. So let's get back to it All right I'm all done with the cleaning, so I'm just going to take these and I'm going to stick them in this uh, cup over here. And I'm going to take them all over the pinball machine. I'm going to separate these ones from these ones and these. And uh, I'm going to go put them all on there. So let's get to it. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and take my hand. I'm going to run it all over the pinball machine and let the oil on my hands pick up any dirt or dust that's left over. So I've already done that. I just did that as a demonstration. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my stuff out here in the middle of the field and I'm going to place everything where it goes on the field and then put little the little cups like this over every little spot where they're supposed to go. So let me go ahead and let's get that done. Alright, she's all empty. I got them all sitting up there. Now I'm going to go get all the uh, little caps that go up there and I'm going to set them over here next to where they go. Alrighty. So this one obviously goes here. Alright, next thing we're going to do is we're going to put in all the light bulbs. Just find the slot where they go in, you push down and turn clockwise. So, next thing we need to do is get the rubbers or bouncers or whatever. Now if you want, you can lay them all out in accordance with your plan or lay them out on the table like I had the other day. Uh, I kind of know where most of them go, so I'm just going to go ahead and lay them out on the board. Like I know this big one comes over here and belongs to this side. This one belongs over to this one. Sorry about that. So let me get them all laid out here for y'all. And... Uh, and then we'll proceed from there. Alright, I got them all laid out where they go. Um, if you remember, this one was a very unique one. 
and it's the one that goes up here behind this one. Uh, I'm going to leave this over here for now, someplace out of the way, and I'll probably put it in maybe last. Let me set it down here. All right, next thing you want to do is if you have any of these little ones that are just singles and there's not something wrapped around it like there are these here or these up here, go ahead and put all these on. And then set them right back where they go. Wow. <laughs> they get a little jumpy sometimes. These things are they're pretty tight to put on. Alright, uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to screw these ones down for the big ones here. Oh, I forgot these two are for this one, so <laughs> I pull them back off and uh, they go on these ones. Okay, let's, uh, let's go ahead and start screwing some of these things down. All right, it's time to do the ones in the back, and they're pretty much done the same way as the other ones, uh, as far as these goes. These ones are simple. You can just uh, put them over the holes, uh, grab your screw, and uh, stick it in there like that. Find the hole that it goes on, and stick it in the hole, and screw it down. Now these ones are kind of similar to the ones that were on the side. You have to push this over a little bit so that uh, the ball can go down the middle. Otherwise the ball sometimes gets stuck. See I found the hole there. Stick it in the hole. There we go. And screw it down. Don't screw it down all the way. Just screw it down enough so that you can uh, so it won't come out and then you can get the screw in the other one lift it up and kind of find the hole the nice part is is there's usually a little bit of wear mark here so you kind of know where it goes and you can just set it there and then wiggle it around and, and the screw will find its hole these are the ones that are a little more interesting because they're like the other ones they have them rubbers on there and, and you got to stretch them so I usually put one on first like this one I don't know why they just didn't use a bumpers like they did on this one but I don't know I'm not the designer of the machine so <laughs> I can't say okay so now get this up in here like that let me uh let me put you over here all right get your screw ready grab this pull it and hold it and put the screw in it'll go in there we go and this is where it's nice because now that the screw holds the top and you can stick your finger under the bottom and kind of move it around where you want it to be until you find your hole. And once you find your hole, then you can go ahead and tighten it down. So let me get the other one in and then we'll uh, proceed a little bit further. Throw the rubber down there. Now the reason these I believe go on the outside is because if you put them on the inside then the ball won't go between. Then the fun part, if I can find, oh there it is, staring me right in the face. There we go. 
Set that in there. Grab it, pull it. Put that in there. Put the screw in the hole. There we go. And you can stick your finger underneath and move it around where you need it while you push down on the, the screw. And I found it good. There we go. It goes up on top. There we go. Make sure everything's tight. Looks like it. All right, I guess we can start putting the nuts on these things over here. <clears throat> Pretty much the same way. You just grab one and twist it on. Oh, come on, get on there. There we go. Remember, don't put them on tight. Just till they stop. And that's it. That's all you need. And this, so this doesn't wiggle. That's it. Anything more than that, and you can break it. It's just, it's old, brittle plastic. And some of them don't even tighten down all the way, like this one. So I just leave them. As long as it's holding it on there, that's all I care about. Yeah, see that one's the same way. Doesn't want to hold it. <clears throat> and we can do these ones over here. Now you can actually put a piece of uh, tape on here too if you want. But uh, I found as long as you tighten the both ends down, it, it doesn't really go anywhere. Especially if you put this one on here. So let me get all these in, and then I'll show you when I'm done with it. All right, I got this one all the way on. You can see it, it holds on there pretty good. And so it's it's not coming off, it's not going anywhere, so I just leave it, it's fine. So, let's get on to the other ones. Well, one of the few things left is to put this on here, but actually it's smaller than the original. And this one is still quite pliable, so I just decided not to take it off and put this back in the box and I'll use, I'll use the original. Uh, I don't know if this has ever been changed. I don't think so because there's actually dimples on here where it's been played for years and people have rotated it, who, whoever owned it before me. Um, I, I rotated it from, I think it was this dimple right here. And uh, <laughs> so it's, it's still in good shape. So I, I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to put the dimples on the bottom where you can't see it and uh, make sure it's clean here. Uh, no dimples right here so <clears throat> let's uh go ahead and get on to the flipper i think that's uh pretty much the last thing to do on this other than maybe clean it or whatever so let's uh let's come over here to the flipper all right uh this flipper is obviously uh well used it's checking and breaking so i'm just going to go ahead and, and pull it off and i'm actually not going to break it for whatever reason if i ever needed another one uh, I can just slip this one back on here temporarily and use it so and, and, and just as long as I have this I can continue to play until I can uh, get another set in I did the same thing with the old rubbers I didn't throw them out I just kept them but you can see there it's it's pretty dirty and nasty and I dropped a little bit of stuff on the playing field so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna clean all this up real good um, with some Mr. Clean and a uh, paper towel and then we'll put our new uh, our new flipper rubber on it. Alright, I got it all cleaned up as best I can. So let's go ahead and uh, put the new rubber on it. New flipper. Woo, boy. That's pretty tight. Gonna <laughs> give a lot of bounce to a ball. All right, the last thing is to go ahead and uh, run your hand over the field one more time, make sure everything's good to go, clean your glass, and uh, close up your field. Put your glass on and play ball. 
You remember this area right here where the ball wouldn't go past it? Uh, what I've decided to do is go ahead and uh, pull the rail out a little bit like this. Get a pair of needle nose straight down on here and then twist it back in. And then uh, just gently, I might put like a small piece of wood here and then grab some channel locks and then press that back in. Uh, that way I don't damage it too much. I, I should have used a little backer or something because I damaged a uh, part of it right there. But you really won't notice it that much. So <clears throat> uh, I'm going to go ahead and get those needle nose and press that back in. Alright, here we go. Let's see if we can't get this back in here. Take this and press it out a little bit. Hold it down. Okay, now it sits all the way down like it should. Let me uh, bring you up here. Okay, this portion right here didn't sit here before. It was like way out there. And the only way to do it was to spring this back in. So that's what I've done. Now this piece right here, this is so I can put that there. And then grab my uh, pliers right here. And press that back in there. Just like that. There we go. Now, let's grab the ball and see if it will, uh, see if it'll travel like it's supposed to. And it does. Okay, great. So that's fixed now. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and show you what we've done. Alright, there we are. I actually don't have the glass on it, but I thought I would, uh, go ahead and, uh, turn all the lights on and show you how well it looks if you remember how it looked last time now this right in here this is some of those uh, some of those dirt areas and cracks in the paint you can't take care of uh, this is where when I got it there was an actually <laughs> there was a rubber stuck to it and when I peeled it off, it took some of the paint with it, so I'll have to repaint that someday. Here's the new flippers. They work good. I shouldn't say new flippers. They're cleaned and got new uh, bouncers on them. Uh, the flags, everything, all the lights work now. Um, might, just, might just have to do a quick play to see how it looks, huh? Well, let's go ahead and do that. 